Welcome to the channel. Today's lesson will include a video that is designed for Edpupsil. These types of videos help make learning more effective and enjoyable. This video will contain four questions. The answers to all questions will be revealed at the end of the video. Let's start our lesson with a riddle. What am I? I stick to metal with might. I have two sides, one pulls, one fights. I can attract or I can repel. A force you can't always see or tell. I don't need wires, but I still work strong. I can flip and switch, like a dancer song. Opposites attract, that's how I play. So tell me now, what am I today? Are you ready for the answer? It is a magnet. Magnets are unique things in the world, and today, we are going to learn about them. Chapter 1. What are magnets and magnetic fields? Magnets are objects that produce a magnetic field, which is an invisible force that can attract or repel certain materials. The force that magnets produce is called magnetism. This force is created by the movement of tiny particles inside atoms called electrons. A magnetic field is the area around a magnet where the magnetic force is felt. You can think of it like the reach of the magnet's power. The field looks like lines that go from the north pole of the magnet to the south pole. These lines are invisible, but they help show the direction in which the magnetic force acts. Check for understanding. What is a magnetic field? A. An invisible force that repels all materials. B. The area around a magnet where the magnetic force is felt. C. The metal inside a magnet. Chapter 2. Types of Magnets, Permanent Magnets Permanent magnets are always magnetized, meaning they don't need electricity to keep their magnetism. This is because the atoms inside them are always aligned in a way that their magnetic fields are all pointing in the same direction. You can find permanent magnets in everyday items like fridge magnets, headphones, and the magnets in your phone. Permanent magnets are made from materials that are naturally magnetic, like iron, cobalt, and nickel. When these materials are heated and then cooled while in a strong magnetic field, the atoms inside them align and lock into place, creating a permanent magnetic field. Chapter 2. Types of Magnets, Electromagnets Electromagnets are magnets that need electricity to work. When electric current flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. This is called electromagnetism. The magnetic force can be turned on and off by switching the electricity on and off, which is why electromagnets are useful in things like motors and cranes that pick up metal objects. To create an electromagnet, a wire is coiled around a piece of metal, often iron. When electric current flows through the wire, it creates a magnetic field. The metal inside the coil helps strengthen the magnetic field. The strength of the electromagnet depends on the number of coils in the wire, the amount of electricity flowing, and the type of metal used. Every magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. The magnetic field lines always go from the north pole to the south pole. If you cut a magnet in half, each piece will have a north and a south pole, no matter how many times you cut it. When you bring two magnets close together, the way they behave depends on how their poles are facing. Like poles repel, if you bring two north poles or two south poles together, they will push each other away. Opposite poles attract, if you bring a north pole and a south pole together, they will pull toward each other. Check for understanding. What happens when you bring two north poles of magnets together? A. They attract. B. They repel. C. They cancel out. Chapter 3. How do magnets get stronger or weaker? The strength of a magnet depends on several factors. 
1. Alignment of atoms, in a magnet, the electrons and atoms are arranged in a way that their magnetic fields align, which makes the overall magnet stronger. If the alignment is messed up, like if the magnet is dropped or heated too much, it can weaken. 2. Size and shape, larger magnets have more atoms aligned, which can make them stronger. Also, the shape of a magnet affects how its magnetic field is spread out. 3. Temperature, heat can cause the atoms in a magnet to move more, making them lose their alignment and weakening the magnet. Check for understanding. What happens to a magnet if it is heated too much? A. It becomes stronger. B. It loses its magnetism. C. It becomes larger. Chapter 4, How Does Distance Affect Magnet Strength? Magnetic force weakens as the distance between a magnet and an object increases. If you move an object further from the magnet, the magnetic force pulling it gets weaker. This happens because the magnetic field spreads out as it moves farther from the magnet. Additionally, mass plays a role in how much force you feel from a magnet. Heavier objects may not be as strongly attracted to a magnet as lighter ones, especially if the magnet is small. Check for understanding. How does distance affect the strength of a magnet's force? A. The force becomes stronger the farther away the object is. B. The force weakens as the distance increases. C. The force stays the same no matter the distance. Chapter 5. What materials are attracted to magnets? Not all materials are attracted to magnets. In fact, only certain metals are magnetic. These include iron, nickel, and cobalt. Liquefied oxygen is also magnetic, which is a unique property that makes it interesting to scientists. It's important to know that most metals are not magnetic. For example, metals like aluminum, copper, and gold do not get attracted to magnets. Check for understanding. Which of the following is attracted to magnets? A. Gold. B. Copper. C. Iron. Chapter 6. Earth's Magnetic Field. The Earth itself is like a giant magnet. It has a magnetic field that protects us from harmful solar radiation. The Earth's magnetic poles are close to the geographic poles, but they are not in the exact same spot. The magnetic field helps guide compasses, which use a needle that aligns with the Earth's magnetic field to point north. Without the Earth's magnetic field, life on Earth would be at risk from the solar winds, charged particles from the sun, which could strip away our atmosphere and make the planet much less hospitable, meaning, life would have a hard time existing here. Check for understanding. What is the purpose of Earth's magnetic field? A. To attract metal objects. B. To help compasses point north. C. To make the Earth spin. Review, key points to remember. Magnets have north and south poles and behave differently depending on how their poles face. Permanent magnets don't need electricity to work, while electromagnets require an electric current. The strength of a magnet can be affected by the alignment of atoms, its size and shape, and its temperature. Magnetic force weakens as distance increases, and heavier objects may feel a weaker force. Only certain metals like iron, nickel, and cobalt are magnetic. The Earth's magnetic field protects us from solar radiation and helps compasses point north. Final check for understanding. Which of these materials is not attracted to magnets? A. Cobalt. B. Copper. C. Nickel. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you had a great experience. Feel free to leave a comment or suggestion for improvement. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this information helpful.